All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It is time! Third round in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Iceman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Kid Dynamite. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making sure. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them thoughts of taking this fight to the ground they want to strike they want to strike that's what got them to the show that is the path that they are normally on and tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone they don't have to worry about defending takedowns all they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory looking to land the right just out of range well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Great punch. There's the kick. It's blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses there with the left. Body shot there. Big roundhouse oh. now, just misses. Oh. 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. Beats the elbow there. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And they separate. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. And he landed the right hand there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Tries to work it into a takedown. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Elbow. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. So he's really starting to put together some signals. Oh, significant strike attack there, but a huge block. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Head kick. Oh! Back and forth we go. Oh, big knee! An elbow! Now. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch there. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Another straight left. That inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to speed up the inside side. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Good punch land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai. Here. Nice one, two there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his Huge elbow there. Back. 
just out of range with the big right hand. Look at him drive his chin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. It's okay. We're going to get back up. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful hand skills here, the right and the left. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice. Circling to his right. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Not there. Going to the body there with the right kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, he'll engage in a oh, six nice job with the take down and scramble to his feet. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood for good leg kick. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Beautiful kick. Checks that leg kick. That's some good takedown defense right there. Single leg attempt, no good. Nice punch land here at the top. Nice head kick. Single collar tie there. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground his pound or he can chase submission. Now he's working on another choke here. Nicely done. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Man, the submission attempts keep on coming. Going for a choke oh, now. Oh, man, that was slick. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. And they both stand up. That is how you scramble, folks. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Wow! Entertaining oh, scrap so far. So there's the end of the round. Two things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Catch your breath, breathe, listen. You can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. Ready, fight. Ready. Good. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. 
Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing it down first with those nice outside legs. Whoa! Look at that. It's over. It's over. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly gonna enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 46 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by...